I recently have moved over from full frame and APS-C size uh, DSLRs, uh, but I've still got my Fuji S5 Pro and I've still got a Canon 5D Mark II, however, they are not being used anymore. I have fully transitioned uh, all my work, my workflow to Micro Four Thirds mirrorless cameras. I'm using the Panasonic GH4, GX8 and G7 as my three uh, cameras of awesome. They're smaller, they're lighter, they fit on my gimbals, they have 4K recording, they have high frames a second, everything that I, I ever needed for video. And their photos, uh, I use them for, I use the GX8 for my property work. Nice, small camera. Uh, with a good articulating screen which means I can get right into the corners um, of rooms so I can show as much of the room as possible um, and, uh, and it's lighter, just so much easier to work with. So I'm a big fan of mirrorless Micro Four Thirds um, camera equipment at the moment and what I would say is that I'm seeing a lot of uh, Facebook group posts where people are asking if anybody else has done this. So I'm part of quite a few photography Facebook groups. And over and over, I hear, especially people who have gone to Fuji, um, I hear a lot of people saying that they've got the X-T1 and they use that for everything now and they're just, and but they've got like a Nikon D800 sitting in a cupboard doing nothing. They're going, am I brave enough to get rid of my DSLRs and go full mirrorless and I would say actually at the moment from the reports I've been hearing from other photographers for image quality the Fuji X system the X-T1 uh, Pro 1 Pro 2 that have come out um, for image quality for let's say you're doing landscapes let's say you're doing just portraits and stuff like that fantastic um, and you don't really need more than that especially if you're using uh, external lighting as well if you however do weddings oh you can but the reliability of a DSLR at uh, the autofocus accuracy I would say is still superior in the DSLRs uh, so if I if you had a a wedding to shoot I would say definitely be renting a D750 or D800 or D810 um, if you're doing that because uh, they they definitely will help in situations because certainly with weddings you have no idea what sit situation you're going to be walking into it could be high contrast it could be low light it could be fast paced you've got to get fast shots of stuff being thrown about you've got to deal with a lot of stuff which micro four thirds and mirrorless cameras can deal with however I would say the reliability is not as high as what you get with digital SLRs same with sports if you are um, a press photographer and you are actively shooting sports which require fast and accurate autofocus again the DSLRs are probably still the ones to stay with however other than weddings and other than fast action sports, Micro Four Thirds or APS-C size mirrorless cameras are, I would say, the cameras to get. If you've got a DSLR just sitting in your cupboard, I would fully just say, yeah, time to just sell it. Time to just get rid of it because the image quality you're getting from the, not like even the last generation of mirrorless cameras is so good that holding on to a big dinosaur that is a DSLR is just money slowly dripping away. Sell it, get some more lenses. Sell it, get another Micro Four Thirds or get another Fuji camera or something like that. But I would say you're unlikely to get better image quality for the majority of the shot. Like, so there are some shots where you will get better image quality, but for Again, you're looking at it from a photographer's point of view, a lot of the time nobody will see the difference. It's only when you're zooming in one to one, zooming in 10,000%, looking at individual pixels, and that doesn't make a good picture. Um, so if your camera is too heavy, slowing you down, means you have to carry a giant bag full of stuff, which no, what, look, look how empty my bag is. That is what I use all day, every day for property photography. Um, so that, with that, boom, that's all I need for all my work. 
So, I, I'm fully support anybody who wants to ditch the digital SLR because mirrorless has definitely come into, into its own. The image quality is just superb. And the more and more people that ask that question, the more and more comments I hear coming back from professionals, nightclub shooters as well, saying, yeah, they've gone to mirrorless. So much better, so much easier, so much lighter. <laughs> Just multiple, multiple ways that mirrorless is now beating digital SLRs.